Loser bracket final now between Soul Esports and Revenant. I know it's S8 Oil, but I'm not going to say S8 Oil every single time. I'm just going to say Saul. I know people might get upset about it again, but, you know, it is what it is. Channel on the left side with Eldegoss, Delphox, Trevenant, and the Buzzwall. Going up against Slowbro, Lapras, Hooper, A Venusaur, and a Dodrio. Heading into our first match, we have Shenlo taking over the left side center area with ascending Delphox towards bot path. They just want to get overheat as fast as possible. On the right side, we have Dodrio towards the center area, also getting to the five earlier. Going to see if it's going to be a tri attack or the drill pack. We saw a float stone, so I think it's probably going to be drill pack. But of course, both builds can play the float stone. Buswell going in off for the first last hit, has reject button away, doesn't want to get auto attacked by Hooper too much, but gets stuck by the Astonish. Can he try and make a punch away? Yes, that's for now. The rip is very annoying early game for the Hooper. Edigos doing the same. Four supports on those range attacks. With the auto attack slow. Just going to try to be annoying. And then we have Lapras against Buswell for the damage. Fire Stinger goes in, that one quite get the last hit. And now Buswell might just be going down, stuck to the red buff, uh, red buff again, mega punches away, but runs the focus band. It's just gonna keep Buswell healthy for now. And let's see if it's gonna be Drill Pack or Tri Tech. It's gonna be the Drill Pack, yep. For the side of Sadao. And we have the first Altaria spawn happening right now. Who is going to claim these Altaria? Just going in with the full heal. Drill Pack into the right side. A nice to secure by Revenant Esports. So we can't quite connect too many. Um, and we have a pause for now. And the game is on pause again. Snowy now heading back towards the center area. I kind of want to see Delphox taking over the center area now for the left side, but we have Shenlu taking over it again. Batch, they're looking for level 6 right now. It's just like, I I really don't like seeing Trevenant and Delphox in the same lane. Um, we've seen it in Europe as well sometimes, or in North America, and it's just like, it's, it is rough. If the enemy team just takes over early game, you, have, you just struggle. Because both of those Pokemon are just not really uh, too good until 5, 6, 7. It takes quite a long time up against a few other Pokemon. I might looking for the last right here now getting stuck. Astonish is going to hit. Can they have no bus forward? We have another pause. And the game resumes. Not sure what's happening. I guess someone might be having some internet issues. As we saw with the Blast Toys from Revenant in the last game, he was DCing. So maybe he's just been having some internet issues today, which can always happen. Of course, this was played from homes. And we all know internet providers in 2023 are still not it. Hooper now getting taken down. Nice kill there for Soul Esports. Looking for the dive onto Lepros as well. Can they take it down? But Dodri is with a jump kick. But he gets super powered. All Might with a wonderful super power there. Stops Dodri from popping off. And they smack the bird instantly to the ground. Another super power onto the Ivysaur. And Buswell now with a double KO. They might get Eldegoss in the end, but not quite. No, the smackdown away is also going to keep Eldegoss alive. And another super power. And they just don't respect the uh, Buswell now. Smackdown. And it's another KO for the Buswell. And now All Might might just be taking over this game. That was huge. He's looking for another superpower. They just keep walking into this smackdown. It could be another KO onto the Hooper. Edigo's base attack is going to be enough to take down the Hooper. And the bus boy just with four KOs in the last 30 seconds puts Sol now into a huge lead in this game. Wow. We have the Reggie on bot path. Reggie Steel currently being also taken by Soul Esports. And they're going to start going for it. It's already almost at half HP. We have a Fire Blast for Batch. And it's quite far out, though. It might just leech. Yeah, it was pulled out a bit too far. Or oh, Rudy's stuck in the imprison. Has to fully jump kick across the wall and run away. He's pretty much out of this fight. But Sol kind of made Registry walk out a bit tiny too far. Which means it uh, lost it lost a lot of time right here. Sol being very aggressive. Another imprison is going to go down. Dojo gets caught in the enemy central area by the bus foil, and our soul just complete take off in this game. They get two KOs, three KOs, and the Reggie Steel, and also points. 30, 29, another 30 will go in. And Sona with a huge lead in this game, looking for Hooper as well, but they don't have to really go for it. But the fire spins doing connect, and the overheat damage of Snowy also takes on the Hooper. So, now in full control, they can also take over the mid area pretty much for free. Taken down right here. Snowy now almost level 11 already. Looking very strong in the Shen Lua. And uh, yeah, it's going to be difficult for Revenant to deal with this. It pretty much comes down to the Dodrio finding good engages. Crowley also heading towards top path. Has Yuna move up? Revenant might be looking for something up here. Solar Beam. We see a lot of Solar Beam lately in every single region. 
has now almost played at least one game of Solar Beam. And uh, All Might is going to start back on this Regilecki. You can always last hit with the uh, Buzzful as well. You can... Uh... Oh, he just goes in with the Ignite, move on to the back line. Looks for the superpower. Smackdown is going to miss because of the eject button. He's eject buttoning after Hooper as well. Can he take down the Hooper? Yes, he can. Maybe going for the Venusaur next and a double KO for All Might. Again on the top path. Gets 40 points as a reward as well. And looking for the bunny to Edigos not stuck in the 1v2, trying to find the score, but that's so successfully. Trevenant are also helping out. Turns actually taken Doji in a 1v1. And then <laughs> Buzzful again also takes on the slow bro. Smackdown onto Lapras into the superpower. Focus spell might not be enough for Leech. Lapras literally cannot move right now. Bubble Beam gives him a shield, but gets wood hammered and bonked onto the head. Another superpower into the Smackdown. And this Buzzword is just having the time of his life right now, but now he gets Slowbury Knight move. Can they take down the Buzzword finally? Turn the Knight to peel. They're going to use Hooper Unbound as well. They're going to look for this fight here relevant esports. But they can't take anyone down. They just run away. I think going to be safe. Slowbury is going to connect, but they're going to superpower Smackdown. Oh, nice amnesia to dodge away from the Smackdown. Wonderfully done by the slow bro, but he still goes down regardless. Solar Beam is going to snipe Edigos at least. Wotemma gets also the Venusaur. It's just a bloodbath right now. And Buzzword, did he get out to get one more KO? No, he didn't. Oh man, what a fight. <laughs> Lots of stuff is happening. Lots of action. This time the superpower is going to miss. Drip pack goes in. They're going to look for the KO onto the Buzzword. We'll see Jack Button away. And they cannot keep on chasing. Yeah, Buzzword competitive if he gets ahead is also just very scary. Especially if you have like a tank, a support next to you. Then Buzzword becomes stronger and stronger. And uh, currently showing it why this Pokemon can sometimes be just absolutely insane. Hooper's gonna sneak in, score 25 points right here, not gonna matter out too much though. Regirock is currently up. And Hooper has scored 25 points. But the support backcapping is quite weird. Revenant Esports probably should just back off from this now. And look for something else instead. And yeah, they're gonna give it up for completely. No, Jordi's gonna try to up with him, but a bit too late. Drill Pack is going to completely miss as well. Bit of a Hemery attempt. But uh, he does get out in the end. Fire Blast, Fire Spin onto Slower, though. He's gonna get taken down. Another kill for Snowy. Who is also having a great game so far on the channel, doing crazy amounts of damage with that overheat. Blizzard looking for a backcap right here, but only 14 points. Just maybe wants to break the goal to open up the map a tiny bit more. While so esports is now working onto this Regilecki. And they should get it for free unless Super can somehow steal away with Hyperspace Portal. Looking for the steal, but no, doesn't even go for it. Can't quite reach. And now Lapras is getting the first goal of the game for Revenant as well. <laughs> this Trevenant is currently in a 1v2. Oh no, in a 1v1. Against Jojo again. And so Esports looking for a bit of poke right here, but of course they don't want to overcome it. You can't, if against two defender Pokemon, you can't really push Regilek in. That's a bit too ambitious. And they know about it, they're just looking for some bit of poke, don't want to overextend. And uh, they're going to clear the Regilek now. 10 seconds to go. And so Esports now trying to just get complete control of this Rayquaza pit. Two members on top path. Making sure no one can just back up there. And now we have Buzzword engaging onto the Lapras. And Lapras is going to get super powered around a lot. Already at half HP. Of course the passive is going to help Lapras to live through a lot of damage. Doji also looking for a back cap, But Shannon Lua is also scouting it out. And Revenant Esports they have very bad Rayquaza damage. They're not a team that can just burst on Rayquaza. It's only 50 points though difference right now. Fire Spin, Fire Blast. Only just going to go wide. Is going to miss. And now Fire Spin is going to chase down the slow bro. He's spinning around. Fire Blast also doing some bad damage. Don't really look for the back cap. Lapras looking for the back cap. And the score of Lapras almost puts them ahead. It's only four points now difference. And if Dodi scores one time, actually going to be ahead. So it's all esports. They still have to do something in this game. What am I going to land? Slow reject buttoning forward with the Ignite move on to, uh, to Shenlu, but no one can follow up. Instant Edigos United as well, giving the buddy barrier onto his ally, getting that healing done. And now Wood Hammer Trevenant is just zoning four members on his own right now. Can they take down the Lapras? Lapras is doing the same. Both defenders are zoning alone. Smackdown into the superpower. And Lapras finally going to go down. It's so tanky. It's still alive. Fire Spin, Fire Blast. Lapras finally getting punched down. But Jojo puts Revenant now into the lead in this game right now by almost 100 points. So, Soul Esports. They have to do something. Nice Solar Beam is going to land. But they're stuck now. Three members almost falling. No, the three members go down. But Shenlu also gets sniped by Rayquaza. Shenlu gets sniped by Rayquaza. What is Solar Esports going to do right here? This is a very tricky scenario. Crowley, very low in HP. Getting zoned by Trevor to make sure he can't snipe Ray away. But they also have to zone. Then be the story out. Rayquaza low in HP now. This is very nervous for Sol right now. They're going to superpower. And he gets the buzzword performance from All Might this game. 
was on a completely different level. He picks up Ray, makes it on itself, and he secures the Rayquaza. MVP of this game for sure, but can he score points? That's the question right now. No, can he? He gets another shield in, but the shield is going to break. Do they score points? Where are the points coming in? There's 100 going in, and that's going to be enough. 100 points also for Trevenant. And Soul Esports takes the first game of All Might's Buswell performance. Honestly, very well played. Very, very good Buswell game. All right, 1-0 for Soul Esports. Draft number two, left side, we have Trevenant, a Lapras, Edegos, again, a Solar Beam Venusaur with a Zorok. Going for Muscle Band and Rapid Fire Scarf, so it's going to be a Night Slash. And right side again, All Might locking in that bus wall with a Blissey, Dale Fox, Chandelure, and a Slowbro. Very similar team come to last game, this time they just have Blissey instead of Edegos, because Edegos was picked away by Revenant. And besides that, the game or the team comms look quite, quite similar. Oh no, wait, Trevenant's on the left side and Slowbro's on the right side. Those defenders also switch position. But yeah, we're gonna have a... No, wait, he switched items. Okay, it's Attack Rate, Razor, Claw, Focus Band. So now it's probably going to be a Feint Attack Zorak in the end. Second game, Soul again looking great. Off the back of All Might, but honestly, all of the players of Soul Esports had a very good first game. But it still got very close, right? They were kind of dominating throughout the entire match, but in the end, it still kind of came down to them securing Ray um, because they couldn't really go for any points while Revenant Esports was able to score points. So it was very, very close. Shane's is going to score two points right here. All Might also running in. He's going to score two points, but can't quite do it. Has to eject mine away now. But he's stuck to the Edigos, and this time All Might just be, might just be falling. And yeah, the rep buff. It literally is almost stunned. Those Edigos auto attacks with a rep buff. It's absolute criminal how much it slows. You're pretty much almost on the same position. You can barely move. And now 14 points going for Revenant Esports in this early game on top path. Going for the next last hit as well. Edigos secures it and can now get level 4 already quite early on. So they're going to keep maybe the bus will in check this time. Throughout this early game. Yeah, Rep of and Edegos together is just... Look look at this. slow. You literally you cannot move. You're slowed, but it feels like you're stunned. It is crazy how much Edegos does in the early game with that rep buff. And now Blizzard's almost level 5 already. There is the faint attack for Zorok, as we saw by him changing his items around. It's going to be a faint attack. 24 to 2 points. And also esports. Again, with that, Death Fox on bot path. Going to low probably be another fire spin and fire blast. Both bot path actually looks so weak though. Like I'm surprised we haven't seen any Mew, right? No one picked Mew. No one picked Nine Tails. And now 14 points going for the slow bro. And Death Fox is running over us to scoring 26 points. Bulbasaur going to the wrong side of the map, trying to score 13 points, but he's up against a slow bro. I don't think he's going to succeed. There's an wait happening as well. We have a 2v3 right now, but Lapras just runs over Snowy, taking down Kira Might from Fall next to the next water pulse. And yes, Dasso, this Lapras now might be snowboarding out of control. But we also have the Bulbasaur going down. So Revenant Esports looking good on top, looking bad on bot. And so with the opposite, looking good on bot and looking bad on top right now. Level 6 and a half already for the Dead Fox, so getting very close to level 7. Getting enough experience against this Trevenant and Bulbasaur lane. Another Fire Blast, but doesn't get this last, so he snipes it away. With that Woodhammer. Fire Blast onto the Bytoy. Also secured. 38 to 42 points. And Crowley secures at least his NED. Getting close to level 7, of course, wants to be level 7 for that first Reggie spawn. I mean, the India meta is fine. I mean, like those, I just, I just don't like what they do on bot path. I feel like both bot paths are a bit too weak looking. Like if one of them just picks a stronger bot path, I feel like the other one team just gets completely destroyed there. But yeah, Zorak is going to take down the bus wall. Or am I this time not getting too much of a lead yet in this early game? So now we got to see the opposite. When Buswell doesn't have a good early game, games can become quite, quite difficult to see how he's going to play this. Blissey also taken down by the Zorak. And now the first goal of the game goes down for Revenant Esports. And it's going to be one point, so 19 over cap. Leaving the goal like exactly one point left. Soul is going to try to at least start up this uh, Reggie. And that might be secured. We have Solar Beam though from the from Crowley. Could try and snipe it away. Goes into position right here. On the top left you can see him running in. Looking for the Solar Beam right now. He's looking for he's looking just for the steal. But Slobo is also going to try and... That's Solar Beam coming through and he gets it! Wonderful is wonderful is the, uh, by the Ivy saw exactly what I mean. I mean, we knew it's going to happen, right? And it happened. Sorry, also on the Slowbro now. Slowbro, no HP. Fan attack's going to be there, but Zorok is locked up. 
but should be able to get away barely. Gets locked up by the imprison, but it's not going to be enough to take down this rock. Lapis Express coming in. He's going to miss the wave. And a four-man wire spin. Meanwhile, Omai is scoring 26 points, but there's a fight breaking out on bot path. We have Trevor and Ivy so going down. And Revenant just going a bit too deep on the dive. And so Esports is going to pick up one, two, maybe three KOs. A huge fire spin. And Revenant just going too deep for this goal. It's going to cost them a lot of experience. Fire spin, fire blossom to Eligos. They lose four members on this push. And also Esports can look for a push on their own. 40 points maybe for the uh, Chandelure. But no, he also might just be caught now. Faint attacks, Rock goes in. Find a faint attack, takes on the Chandelure. And now both teams are doing the same. Just overextending onto the enemy goal. Getting taken down. Bliss assistance, not to Dead Fox. Zora can't quite find this KO right here. Still looking around though. Pain split onto the Dead Fox. But Trevenant's gonna get picked up by the next fire spin, surely. And slowly taken down. Do they even chase him though? They don't, they don't care about the Trevenant apparently. And he's just gonna steal Blue Buff away as well now. They don't want to finish him off. But now Busfoy gets the KO into Edigos and he's gonna get three stacks right here. Picks up another point. No, he can't. But the Smackdown into the Super Pound to Zora. Can he get the 1v1 KO at least? Zora has to move up, but the Snipe onto Blissey. Nice throw him there. Man, this game is so chaotic right now. A lot of things are going on. Trevenant also taken down by the Shadow on the right side, finally. And it's currently a tie in points. 109 to 109 points for both teams. And we have 15 seconds for this next strategy to spawn. We have three, four Unites. No, five Unites on the left side. Three Unites on the right side. So advantage from Revenant going into this team fight right now. Surf so trying to zone. Zorak and Buswell still battling out on top path as well. Buswell dropping low in HP right now. Zorak just trying to poke him down. And there's the Veggie Rock. Trevenant already unite moving quite, quite early into this fight. But no way follow up is there. So that's minus one unite already. It's still going to be four against four unites now. Buswell also moving towards bot path now because Zorak is already here. So Buswell now jumping, taking the jump pad. Going to join up his team. And But so much damage from the Shenlu coming down onto all of them. Not even also returning some damage, but look at this overheat damage that Chandler caused towards Revenant Esports. They all have to back off, start healing up, and also Esports in position. Nice there, Foxy Knight's going to zone them completely as well. This is beautifully placed by Badge. And now with the Reggie's going to be taken. Zorox just uh, capping some more points. 40 points go in. But no, Venusaur snipes it away again. <laughs> he snipes it with the Unite move. And now one, two, maybe three members of Solar going to four right here. Badge trying to get away. And again, the Venusaur. It's being the hero. All Might also getting sniped by the beam. Taken down four KOs for Revenant. And a Reggie Steel. Being stolen or Reggie Rock being stolen away. Diving now in as well. Yeah, there's the Unite move there. In prison trying to lock up the Zorak. He's still looking in to dive in. But are they going to dive this goal again? Doing the same mistake or not? After claiming the Reggie. But this time no casualty at least. They're able to back off. And now Revenant with a very impressive lead. Level 13 already for Zorak. Highest in the game by far. Looking next for the Blissey, he's gonna miss the faint attack. Can't quite connect the KO. Regilecki is also up on top for grabs. If anyone wants to go for it, but again, going for Regilecki is a big time miss as well for yourself. But Revenant could try to increase the lead. The problem is that if Revenant goes with too many members towards Regilecki, then Soul can look for a bottom lane push. But I feel like Zorak could just do it alone, right? They could have four members bot and Zorak just doing it alone and see what happens. You now they have Lapras Rock there, and Soul Esports are now looking for this push onto this goal. It's exactly like one of the similar scenarios we had in the... Uh, was it the game before? Or in the winner bracket final? There's All Might now going in onto Trevenant, looking, locking him up for the superpower, gets the reset on, and there's going to be 40 points going for Shenlu now. Regilecki does go in as well, though. They can't defend it in time. So now Zora can score 50 points for free. So in the end, Revenant actually doesn't lose too much of this. It's pretty much even, I would say. They do get one KO though, but Zorak is able to... Oh, he's going to wait until Ray spawns to score 100, which is also very smart. Three seconds for double time. He's going to go in instantly now. Score 100 points and Revenant now with a 100-point lead. Huge lead for the left side team. Sadao on level 14 as well. Rayquaza being poked a tiny bit. Already at 60% HP. Solar beams though are going to be a lot of damage right now. But Sol is just poking on this raid. They might just want to make it a flip. They keep on poking, Trevor now engaging, Windows with the Unite move is going to go very deep, but Slow Bro is going to stop a Soul Beam from happening. Now Buzzfall is engaging, can he find Crowley? There's Super Bow into Smackdown, but he can't reactivate it because he gets stunned over it, but he jack buttons after the after the Venusaur. All Might on the backside here, getting locked up now by the Wotemma. Can he take down the Venusaur? Venus just gets chased down in the end by the Slow Bro, but three members are done off, so Esports is all done to All Might now. He gets Wotemmered. 
Does he get taken down? This is the question. Smackdown away. He's trying to live right now. Superpower to get a bit of distance. But Bus will also take him down. All right. Revenant now with a 150 point lead. Soul has to try and regroup and respawn. They're going to go for the Slowbro next double KO for the Zorok in the end. But he might be caught right here if he gets taken down. He, oh, he has a 41 death timer. Zorok is gone for 41 seconds pretty much until the end of the game. Can they turn on Lapras as well? Fire Spin, Fire Blast is going to connect. Lapras trying to lift the Bun Beam and the Water Pulse boosted auto attack ceiling. Oh, one more overheat. Trying to run away. The Clay Doll doesn't do enough damage. But Soul Esports, they have to do something still. 40 seconds are left. It's a 4v5 right now. They have to start, they have to go for Ray. They have to do it. They have no other choice and they know about it. They're all heading to straight towards Ray now. Trying to force the 4v5. Can Crawley be the hero again and snipe away the objective? Snowbird is trying to zone desperately. 24 seconds are left. Do they even have enough time though? They can score top and maybe on the second goal as well. They're going to go into Lapras. They're going to waste a lot of time right here. They can't go for enemy Pokemon right now. 15 seconds are left. Rayquaza so much people. They get it. They get Rayquaza. Crowley can't snipe it away. And now they might just be getting in the last two seconds right here. Slowbro reject buttoning away from the Zorak. Which means he's going to keep the shield alive. And he gets 100 points in as well. Three seconds to go. And Soul Esports with the last three seconds win. Oh my god. Oh my god, they do it. That story jack button as well was crucial because Zora could have gotten the sheet otherwise. And Soul Esports in an insanely close game moves to the grand final and qualifies for the world championship as well at the same time. My god.